Hey guys, um, I'm back from Jamaica. I had a lot of fun, a lot of fun. So I was gone for six days and five nights. Um, I was in Montego Bay and I just really want to share my hair experience um, there because I figured when I bought this hair from AliExpress that, um, or was it Alibaba? Same difference. When I bought the hair, that I did a previous review on, and you saw my videos uh, before, I wanted to put it through the ultimate test, which is, you know, the heat that's in Jamaica, you know, especially coming from a cold climate. I'm in New Jersey, so even though we haven't gotten much of a winter, we still have cold weather. So the hair, I wanted to see how I was going to put up with that type of heat. So um, here's my final review. I will not be doing any more reviews on this particular hair. The next time I do a hair review will be on different um, hair because I will be taking this out shortly maybe the next two weeks or so so in the meantime I'll be doing other videos um, all right let's go so uh, this is the hair straightened to be honest with you I actually prefer it to be straight than curly it's it doesn't tangle I could put my hands through it I have no product in the hair I just have a little bit of like shining um, serum like that much I use um, if I could find it I will show you what I use on the hair I just dropped it oh here it is it is um, the Awapui styling treatment oil I think I mentioned this before I use just like a dab of it I put it in my hand and I rub it through and I kind of just go like this to give it a little shine and that's it the hair texture really feels like um, my hair it literally feels like how my hair would feel if it was this long and if it was um, you know hot combed or flat iron so it's realistic I, I love the fact that it's not silky and too European so it's definitely without a doubt Indian hair so um, I want to show you I know people have been asking about the length I want to show you how long the hair is and it comes this is the curve of my back right here so it's pretty long. I'm not, I have a short torso. I'm 5'7", so it probably will be a little shorter on those who have like longer torsos and I don't have much of a neck, so <laughs> it, it's probably longer on me because I'm a little like, you know, stocky, like the way I'm built. Um, so that's how it looks with it straight in. I will put up some pictures if I can figure out how to do that of uh, when I was in Jamaica and the hair was curly, how long it was. Now, what I did use when um, I was in Jamaica to keep it curly, I washed it every day because I was in the ocean water. I was in the pool, living it up. I washed it every day. And before I would come to dinner, I would put, um, I would, leave, you know, towel dry it a little bit so it wouldn't be dripping. And then I would put in these products. This is uh, Mark Anthony True Professional Strictly Curls Leave-In Detangling Conditioner. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. It's a cute little bottle. I just put it in my um my checked luggage because it's big bottles. After I put that in, I would what I would do was I would just wet the hair, I would spray it, and then I would just scrunch it with my hands. After that, um I used the Curl Envy by the same company, Mark Anthony. Curl Envy Perfect Curl Cream, and it controls and defines coarse frizzy hair, adding moisture, soft natural curls. That was a little cream. And then what I did was I used a volumizing, this is a volumizing cool uh, curl uh, booster by the same company. I used all three. And what this did was it held it, but it also boosted the curls and it, um, it removed like a lot of the frizz. I didn't have a lot of frizz at all. So that was really good. At first, I did have a little bit of frizz. Um, it, this made the hair a little stiff. Cause it, it's it's supposed to hold it plus it's a volumizer so i didn't like that as much but the hair when it dried oh my god and it dried really fast like really fast i mean i was outside but it dried me within 20 minutes it was nice and dry it was soft it was very very nice you could feel where i put the spray because i kind of just did it on top i didn't put it through so you can feel where i put the spray at kind of made it kind of stiff but it made the curl stay and by the next morning, it was kind of still there. And all I had to do was just go out the room. So that was really, really, really nice. That's the pros. The hair took really well to products. This product actually worked. Um, this is my first time ever using it. I'm usually like a Paul Mitchell fanatic, but I wanted to try something different. You can get this at your local beauty supply store. I found this at Ulta. 
I'm pretty sure they're all over the country. Um, you could also probably get this from Sephora as well. These, because it's a professional product, but it's really, really good. Really good. So I'm really happy about that. Now, the cons to the hair. All right. The hair is very dry. It's dry. I don't like the fact that it's really dry. My own hair is not this dry. And, it, and my hair is pretty dry. So it took a lot of um, conditioning treatments to get it to, and I still have to do more because I'm going to keep the hair on for a little while longer. So it took a lot of conditioning treatments to get it where it should be as far as looking, you know, healthy and, and it still feels a little dry. Um, that is one of the, the major, if I had to pick one, that's one of the major cons. The hair is dry. Also, I sealed, as you saw in my last video, I sealed the wefts front and back. So I was very, very sure, very careful to make sure that I sealed the wefts so I didn't, so I could prevent as much shedding. The hair curly sheds like a beast. <laughs> not, not like beauty supply store, but it does shed. Like every time I was brushing it, the hair was just coming out. Um, I noticed that a lot. So I wasn't happy about that. That's probably my only really, besides the dryness, the number one thing is the shedding. It does shed. I had zero tangling curly or straight. I love, love, love that. So, you know, when you weigh, <clears throat> you weigh tangling versus, you know, if you weigh tangling versus, um, shedding, I would rather not have either, but I probably would choose shedding over tangling. Trust me, because you don't want to walk around with like, eh, 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 you know, looking like a nest in the back of your head, especially with longer hair. So, I would definitely have to go with the fact that shedding is not that much of an issue. It wasn't like it was just falling out all over the place. Really what it was was when I um when when I was brushing the hair and I was very gentle, especially curly. I didn't want to like over because I know when the hair is curly, it's weaker because the hair is weaker where it actually bends. So I did know that the hair would actually fall out or come out, but it did come out quite a bit. Um, as you can see, the hair is really not that thick anymore. It's not thin. It's probably what a normal, you know, head full of hair would look like. When it's curly, obviously it volumizes. It looks like more full, which I really like. But I really like the way it looks straight. I think I prefer it straight over curly, to be honest with you, only because it's no tangling. Literally, I'm pulling and pulling the hair, and I'm not. I got one strand. Got one strand. That's what it should be like. It really shouldn't be how it was when it was curly. I was brushing it, and it was just like coming all the coming out. Never mind that. Overall, I would give the hair probably like a, a B minus, um, C plus. I don't want to be too critical of the hair considering that it is human hair and probably the donor um, had dry hair. You know, when you buy beauty supply store hair or when you buy treated hair that's been, you know, chemically processed to be straighter or more curly or softer, you get spoiled and you forget how it is to have real human hair straight from the donor. And that's really what this is. And I do believe that with a little TLC, uh, more TLC, that I could avoid the dryness. There's nothing I can do about the shedding because that's just how the wefts were. And I guess that's what it, when I talked about it the first time, I said the wefts look pretty good. They looked good, but looks can be deceiving because obviously it comes out a lot more than I would prefer it to come out. Um, what else? What else? What else? This is again, this is me straightening it. If I curl it, I'm pretty sure it will look exactly the same. Um, if anybody wants to see the hair curl, please feel free to send me a message. I will put some pictures up of the hair curl. No problem. I, I will have the hair in for a little while longer, at least two to three more weeks. I'm going to get my money's worth before I take it out. I will be saving the hair as I only cut the part that's blonde is only part of the hair I cut. Everything else is all still intact. So the blonde can go and I can always just put in, I have some hair left over. I can always just exchange it, you know, for the black hair or just leave it as is and curl it. So if anybody wants to see it curl, you know what to do. Hit me up. You know I'm going to reply. So that's my review, final review of this hair. Um, anybody have any questions? You know where to go. Hit me up. Um, thank you much for listening and I'll see you soon. Bye.